First thing you need, the helmet, or you need a GoPro, of course, uh, or the equivalent, uh, a waterproof casing, especially here in the UK. Everything for this, I'll link in the description below. So basically, depending on how hard your helmet is, well not hard, how smooth it is, you probably don't need as many connectors as myself, but as you've seen, mine is not the best, uh, so I'm gonna need three, but yeah. Also, of course, if you want to be annoying and speak in the videos, you have your audio connector. Uh, and if you buy this fluffy little gerbil thing. Uh, and finally, this bit, you're going to think, why is there earplugs? Well, these folks are going to save your GoPro's life. Uh, but more of that will be in detail. So yeah, that's all we need today. Oh, of course. Just about to forget, you need some self tape. There you go. Right, so we can just chuck this all to the side for the time being. We just need to focus on my helmet, really. So the first thing, I mean the most obvious thing, really, is making sure you know where you want to put it. Uh, down here, up here, well, up here. You can't really. You've got the visor, haven't you? Or on the sides. I'm going to try and put it here today. So I've cut that up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on to here to try and make it a bit more smooth for the rest of the GoPro. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So hopefully, if you can see there, it's a bit smoother now. Again, this is just me, this is my helmet. If anyone else has this helmet, they'll probably put it here. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted it here. Now, the most important part really is before you're gonna stick anything on, you're gonna get your parts together and see how you want it fitted. So I've already connected mine to save some time. Right, so once you've got this set up in place how you want it, you're gonna fiddle around with the helmet. Now this is the part why I said I prefer it on this side than to this side, because you're gonna have to, well especially with a GoPro, you're gonna have to connect your audio to this side here. Uh, so basically it'll be running down here. Uh, again, it's not much of an issue, you just put it on this side and it runs down there. Uh, but yeah, that's just basically whatever side you prefer. So what I would say here is you'd fiddle around with a mirror, get a mirror, put your helmet on, see where it's best, or at least just look from the top of the helmet to see if it's straight. Uh, I mean, these things can twist around, uh, so you can move it a bit. So as I was saying here, you look at yourself in the mirror. Hello, guys. Uh, avoid that. Basically, you want to see yourself, you're looking at it here eye contact to the camera and just see where it fits nice really. Once you're happy, you're happy with the position of it, <clears throat> that's when you'd want to peel this off, as I'm doing right now, and then stick it on. Right, so you're going to want to stick that on there nice and tight. And there you go. It's not 100% sticking on there, so this is going to be another issue. I'm going to cut another piece of that up and just put it in place so it's tight. As you can see, the other part did work. But again, this is the Ryx 4. I'm sure you'll have bought one that's smooth. I mean, I didn't. Uh, I should have really bought a, a smoother helmet, really. Right, so with this, what you're going to do is connect it in there. Yeah, simple as that, really. Uh, connect it in. Now you've got your cable. So now what you can do for this cable, well it's up to you, you can leave it hanging or the best thing for this would be to tuck it inside your helmet. Right, so once the helmet's in place, you've got your GoPro in, you've attached the relevant wire, uh, you're gonna wanna tuck it inside here. Right, so what I've done with mine is, I mean, you've got your, your thing, thing that you're gonna put here uh, where you're gonna speak. My, the one I bought came with a little pincer thing that you can see here. Uh, so the cable just runs along and it's tucked all inside the back of my helmet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the emergency releases back into the helmet and it should be a comfy fit. I'm going to try it on just in case. Right. So once you have everything sorted out, I mean, the cable comes through here, goes in, goes to the back of my helmet. I mean, there's not the best cable management there. You can see there's a bit of cable coming out. Uh, I'll sort that out in a bit. Cable comes through the other side and you've got your thing. So you're just gonna to wanna to tuck that into here. 
stick it on and that's a wrap up really. So once everything's there, you've got your helmet really, the helmet's there, so there's one more look at the Uri before you'll see me with it on. Oh, that's not in the right place, but anyway, it's all connected, everything's fine. Last thing we're missing is the earplugs. Now, what are these for? Well, I'll show you exactly what they're for in a second. So as I said earlier, make sure you've got your hole here. Uh, you're gonna wanna take off, as I said again, the cover of the GoPro. You're gonna wanna put that in there. There you go, lock it up. Attach the cable back up, as you see here. But as you can see, that is not 100% secure. As you see here, they're silicon patty, uh, or putty. Uh, so that basically means that you can mold them to your heart's delight. So just putting that one here. And what you're gonna wanna do is just put it round the GoPro. Fix it in place. Make sure no water's gonna get in there. So trust me, that will keep the water out, but also don't trust me 100% because as I said, this is my first video, my first blog. <laughs> we'll see if there's number two or not. <laughs> and grab the helmet and put it on. Right, the moment of truth. There you go. See you guys on the road.